A-list actor Bradley Cooper might live in a luxury Manhattan townhouse worth over $13 million, but that is far from the only home in his real estate portfolio. In 2021, he bought a place on the West Coast in the Pacific Palisades area of LA. It's reported that Bradley owns two other homes in California, one in Venice Beach and the other he bought in 2009, close to his latest spot. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. And once you watch, let me know what you think of our house. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Bradley Cooper is an actor and filmmaker who's received many awards over his career, including two Grammys and nine nominations for Academy Awards. He's been on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list time and time again, and with his films grossing a total of $11 billion worldwide, Bradley is also ranked among the world's highest paid movie stars. While he owns a stunning Manhattan home, which he spends a lot of time at with his young daughter Leah when he's not working, he's also bi-coastal. He maintains properties in Los Angeles as well, including an estate he just purchased last year in an off-market deal in the gated community of Pacific Palisades. This $4.8 million home was kept on the down low, but it boasts over 4,000 square feet of space with some other structures on the property as well as a lot of trees and greenery for celeb style privacy. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at where Bradley Cooper calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Bradley Cooper's latest real estate purchase went down in May 2021 in an off-market deal, so there aren't too many photos of the home floating around out there. From what we can see, the cottage-style abode is a bit on the modest side, but still super charming. The actor dropped $4.8 million on this home, located in the exclusive Pacific Palisades community in Los Angeles, a neighborhood much loved by celebs situated on the coast between the Santa Monica Mountains and the Pacific Ocean. What more could you ask for? It's reported that Bradley's new property boasts a main residence with 4,400 square feet of space spread over a single floor, as well as an attached two level guest house with two one bed, one bath apartments, each suite with its own kitchenette. Also on the grounds, there's a separate two car garage. The property is shrouded by trees as well as big gates for security, while the lot spans 0.63 acres of land. Inside the main home, there are four bedrooms and three bathrooms, but because the property hasn't been on the open market since 2015, it remains unknown how the interior rooms look. We can see the stunning grounds of the home, which are forest-like, offering mature trees and greenery among these old oak, sycamore, and fruit trees. This outdoor oasis has amenities of its own, including shaded patios, a koi pond, and a sprawling deck to dine or entertain outside, beside the pool and spa, which is surrounded by stone. The exterior of Bradley's home is made up of wood paneling that matches with the lush estates. While this specific Palisades home is a secluded escape, let's not forget that Bradley usually calls a mansion-like townhome in the West Village of New York City home. So why don't we check out that place next? In 2018, Bradley picked up his main residence in the West Village neighborhood of Manhattan while he was still with his ex Irina Shayk, whom he shares daughter Leo with. The sophisticated townhome cost the actor a whopping $13.5 million, but that's to be expected in New York city, considering the amount of space this home offers. His stunning home boasts a classic red brick exterior, while inside, there's 4,000 square feet of space divided between five floors. Furthermore, at the time of purchase, Cooper was hoping to have some extra space for his mother to stay over, and with six bedrooms and 4.5 baths throughout, there's more than enough room. During the pandemic, it was said the actor was holed up here alongside his daughter and his mom for quite a while. His townhouse was once a four-unit rental building building, but it was purchased by an investment group in 2010 for $4 million, and they converted it back to a single family home, giving the place a total gut renovation. While the interior of the pad is all new, it maintained the historic and warm charm from the structure's 1905 roots. The living room is upscale yet cozy, boasting wide plank barn floors that have been refurbished, as well as French windows looking out to the yard. There's a fireplace with detailed molding, and elsewhere, there's a climate-controlled wine cellar. However, consider 
considering Bradley doesn't drink, I don't think there's gonna be much use for that amenity. In his kitchen, there's a soapstone island, along with stainless steel appliances like a sub-zero refrigerator and white cabinets, and the rustic wood ceiling beams add some contrast to the room. Considering the home is fitted with all the best smart home technologies, there are also iPads on each level of the home that connect to speakers too, including the ones located in the kitchen. Another media room is cozy and classy here with a large TV and mahogany built-in shelves where Bradley might display his awards. And other highlights in the home include a basement level den and a grand parlor with 12 foot ceilings. His master suite is open and spacious offering a cooler color palette than the rest of the interiors with gray walls as well. Here there's even a fireplace in the center of the bedroom which is perfect for cold New York nights. The ensuite bath matches the bedroom continuing with the gray walls along with a gray slate shower and separate cast iron tub with skylight overhead. In Manhattan, any outdoor space is a literal luxury, so it seems that paying over $13 million at least secured Bradley his very own backyard in the concrete jungle. His yard offers white birch trees, hedges and greenery, a grill area, and a ping pong table. Not to mention, the location of his home is a bonus too, being close to upscale Manhattan shops, restaurants, and entertainment. We don't know much about Bradley's other homes, but years ago he did purchase a smaller residence in the Venice Beach area of Los Angeles. From what we can see, it's a contemporary affair designed in a loft style with glass walls and 9 to 18 foot ceilings throughout. There's an open floor plan boasting 2,198 square feet of space as well as two bedrooms, a loft style bedroom, and two baths. Located in the Dogtown Station building, the unit cost him $1.25 million and spans three levels. This building has 35 units and is zoned as live workspace, so it's said that Bradley uses this property as an office for his production company, Indiana and 22nd. Other features in this super modern townhouse include polished concrete and hardwood flooring under Foot, a gated garage entry, as well as a stunning private rooftop deck overlooking the city and ocean. All right, everyone, now we've checked out a few of Bradley Cooper's properties, most notably his main residence in Manhattan. After seeing where this A lister lives, what did you think? Did you like his super luxe townhome in the Big Apple? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in, and before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!